Hey guys, welcome welcome to the Cock Coffee Nest. Um, my name is Tyler. I run a YouTube YouTube channel now, um, but I primarily also run a Twitch channel called Coffee Rat, and that's Coffee Rat with only one E. Um, now this tutorial, now this is my first tutorial or one of the first, and I will be um, running you through the process of adding in a capture card correctly and having it set up correctly to get the highest quality image you can. Um, so this means we won't be capturing it through, um, through a window. This means we will actually be adding it directly. We'll be adding the capture card directly into our software. In this case, I'm using slobs. I do recommend slobs. I will leave uh, an affiliate link um, down below if you guys do want to go what get, do you want to go download it or check it out. Um, especially helpful if you're getting first into YouTube or it's your first time trying the stream. This is very, a very nice and friendly uh, piece of software and it displays your chat. Chat and everything I cover um, in grad and streaming for the most part will be applicable uh, to slobs. Um, so, so what you want to do is you want to head over to your manufacturer's um, website and you want to download your drivers. I'll leave the links to the Ava Media ones and the Elgato ones, or to their main page for the drivers. So if you're on the um, so if you're on the Elgato, or if you're on the Ava Media one, you'll want to go through and find your capture card and then select it. Mine happens to be the Live Gamer HD. Now in here, you'll want to download the one that that is said application driver, but you only want the one that has driver not the one that says drive an application. The reason is you don't want to download central, likely short choice, but I think it is very limiting. It's also junk if you don't use it anyway. Um, then what you want to do is still, this only applies, now this part, now the next two parts will only apply to Ava Media, capture cards. You want to download the stream engine if it's available for that capture card and the firmware. And you want to update your firmware to the latest and you want to install the latest stream engine. <clears throat> now, now for now for Elgato, you want to go over to this. Both, by the way, both the links will be provided in the description. It'll be one of your first two, two available. Now you want to go to latest ca game capture card. I mean, you want to go to this. Download the one that's applicable to you. Keeping in mind, if you have the the 4K Pro 60 Pro, no, the 4K 60 Pro. Oh, um, it does own, it only has a Windows 10 driver available, so you do have to be using the Windows 10. Um, and but and once you once you've installed these, and likely you will have to uh, restart. Um, you what, what you want to do is you want to go up and either hit the plus or right click, and you'll be given the op, given a, a selection of of source options. Um, so in here, what we don't want to do. We don't want to click um, Windows Capture and we don't want to hit Game Capture because neither apply to this. What you want to do is you want to hit Video Capture Device. Um, it gives you a brief description of, what, of um, what that's for. And then you hit Add Source. As you can see, um, you can see my, my PS4 there. And you want to give it a name. I, call, I would call this Ava Media or I would just call it whatever the name of the capture card is. Add new source. Now, when, once we are on this page right here, what you'll want to do is you want to go up here and select yours. It'll have the first name, the name of the company or brand, followed by the capture card device name. Usually, in my case, it's the Evermedia HD Capture C985. Um, we'll want to go down. We don't want to have default. We want to have custom. We want to make sure it's 1920 by 1080 or the highest available. We want to make sure this is uh, 30 or the highest FPS available. The reasons for this is more FPS up to 120 looks smooth and looks nicer. Right? Um, now next what we'll want to do is we uh, is we'll want to select this on YV12. Um, it'll use that anyway, but I do prefer to make sure it's using the correct one. Um, now in this now in what now I do recommend 709 9 and full that's the one I personally use and I've had the best results with um, 6001 looks still pretty okay blacks look black 
um, no changes needed and most of the colors do seem to be there. I do recommend 709 because it is the, the full color but one thing you will notice is when you initially add it there will be a slight dull, um, I mean not dull, there will be a slight offset on a, uh, a lighter or whiter color colors. Uh, now down here you will want to disable this. The reason this is is because when you disable it, it and what occurs when it is enabled um, is it has a more of a delay which if you're using your a USB capture device um, it's going to have a delay anyway and you don't want to increase that. You want to keep that as minimal as possible. Um, now down here is a capture. Capture you get two options capture audio or you can have it um, have the audio pushed to your desktop audio so you can hear your audio from your capture, capture device through your um, headphones or speakers um, on your computer. Uh, and now you also have the option to add a custom audio device. The only time you'd actually want this on um, this is when you're bringing in your audio from your um, um, I'm, I'm just thinking sorry guys so what you want, so that's only when you're bringing in in the audio from a separate device for the uh, for the capture device. So in my case, what I used to do, I don't do it anymore, but I used to have a 3.5 headphone splitter and that would split into um, go to my headphones and the other would go to an aux cable, which would then be connected to my line in, to my line in on my PC and that would be the, all the game audio. Um, and that is and that is when I'd want to be selecting use custom audio device. Uh, and now if you want to use it, you'd click it yeah, and then you'd select your device and you'd be done. Now if you are using um, the full range uh, of colors, what you'll want to do is you'll want to note these down or check the description for them and you'll want to um, and you'll want to hit these values. Now the only thing that will actually need changing is your brightness, your contrast and your gamma um, and your whiteness. Otherwise now you really don't need to but just be aware um, if you don't change it um, you may not need to change the brightness. So if it goes all bright after changing these two values um, then you'll just need to bring this down. Now if it doesn't do anything after bringing after changing these values then you don't even need to attach your brightness unless you really feel the need to. Um, and then you're all done and set to go. Now you don't need the um, now I didn't show you how to add, add a filter, so I'm going to show you that now because that otherwise would be completely confusing on otherwise. So you what you do is on your capture card, you right click, you hit filter. Now in slobs we do hit this plus button um, and then we get these options, all right? We get, well, we're defaultly shown this, but instead what we want to do is we want to scroll down and find the one that says color correction. Color Correction. Um, the other term you hear a lot of is CC, which is uh, just shortened for color correction. And once you've done that, you can give it a name. Um, but if it's the only one that's going to be on there, um, no need. And then you hit done. And then you'll change these to the values I showed before. Right. And and then you'd be done, and everything would look good. Um, and that's how it'll look. Now, now I'm going to show you what it looks like without the color correction. And now this is what it looks like, and that's not really what it should, because if I want that same capture card device, I hit property and I change it to partial, I'll show you what happens. Now we'll change this to six, uh, 601 and we'll change this to partial. Uh, see how things are a little darker? darker and that's what it would um, look like otherwise. Now I think doing it the other way with the color correction and the full range looks better. Um, now maybe that's more of a personal opinion than anything um, but those are the things I do recommend. Now that will be it for this video. I, I hope you got some value out of it. I hope um, everything um, worked perfectly and flawlessly. Um, if you do have any problems though please leave a comment letting me know what your problem is. If my, if my volumes do seem a little low or they seem like I'm whispering, it's because I am. I am whispering, but I should still be at good uh, volumes as far as my audio. You may just need to turn it up, 
Um, I'll be covering some stuff actually around audio though. Letting you guys know, I will be covering how my mic is set up. I'll be showing you how I split my audio, and I'll be doing all showing a bunch of tutorials on around around Twitch related stuff. I even have a video on its way explaining how to set up in how to how to sign up, set up, and use um, Twitch as both a viewer and a streamer. So these are just some videos that you guys should be looking forward to. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you got some value out of it. If you appreciate it, please hit that hit that like button and hit the subscribe if you want to see more content. And I do very much appreciate it if you would would share share this video. Now, all links to my socials and anything that I mentioned in the video um, will be in the description. So please go check that out and follow me on my socials. Um, I am Coffee Rat with one E over on Twitch. Uh, so I will see you guys later. Goodbye, see you, and I'm out of the coffee.